I am I am looking real witchy today. I am Kimbucha, Countess Kimbucha, and welcome to my Advanced Spellmaking 201 course where I will teach you how to turn your closet of two dresses into a closet of 20 with a very effective spell. I hope you are ready for the semester and what the Be Beatrix I back there passing notes in my class. Don't be passing notes in my class. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here that probably sounds weird and then in that case hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. I upload videos once a week about Lita fashion, other kind of J fashion lifestyle kind of videos. I'm also doing a series on wedding planning and I'm now also doing a series on Japan planning. How do y'all how do y'all film without getting the reflection in the, in the glasses? How does how does that work? Two orders of business today before we get into the video. I'm wearing a wonderful cord, which is witch inspired. And uh, I want to talk about this brooch from Dreamy Pebble. It's a coffin with bats on it. And then I have this necklace from Neant Glass. It's like the coffin necklace. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling real, feeling real spooky today. This hat is slipping and sliding like it's the crocodile mile. I don't know how you guys keep witch hats on your head. Like mine just does not stay on. Second order of business. I am so close to 4,000 watch hours. I have like 900 more to go. And I would love it if I could get to 4,000 watch hours because if you're a YouTuber, you know what it means when you get 4,000 watch hours. That means I can start to get paid dollar dollar bills. So if you could like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, go watch my other videos, play it in the background while you're doing the dishes. You don't even have to watch it. Just let it play because all of that will go into me increasing my watch hours and then I'll, I'll be able to, to get some dollar bills and be able to invest more into this channel and give y'all more content. All right, so today's video, I'm going back to basics and do a good old fashioned dress review. A couple of things. This dress is, I'm going to call this the broke girls version of Enchantalee's like cat portrait print they did and the cowbell shop I got this dress from is Alice Girl. Um, I used Spree Now to buy the dress. I don't, first of all, let's talk about Spree Now first. Um, they are one of the many Taobao kind of shopping services that are out there. They aren't usually my first pick. My new favorite pick is Super Buy. But Spree Now is good because they have a really nice homepage where it's just, it kind of suggests stuff to you that's either new or just popular or whatever. And that's actually how I found this dress was from their homepage. Otherwise I would have never known this dress was out there. Um, but the shipping took a long time. And I understand that like shipping from China is just gonna take a while anyway, cause pandemic. But compared to Superbuy, where if I use their cheapest option, my items still get here in like a week and a half. Spring now took like a month. They must have sent this dress via like carrier pigeon. I don't know. It was like a pigeon on a boat and the boat got stuck in the ocean. I don't know what it was, but it took way too long for this dress to get here. And I would not recommend Spring now. You can find a comparable Taobao shopping service that will get your items faster than Spring now. So that's... That's just my one quick jab into, into Spree now. I would, don't use them. Super buy is where it's at, for real. It's where it's at. Okay, so let's get into the dress. This dress is from Alice Girl, which is a Taobao shop. And I have never bought from Alice Girl before. And I don't know what made me want to get this dress, to be honest. I thought it was cute. And I was like, oh, it's like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't remember how much it was. I'll put the price up on the screen. But I was like, it's cheap. And it's neutral and um, it's kind of dressy, so let's give it a shot. So this is the dress. It is in the white kind of ivory colorway. I will also uh, put in some, some close-up shots. I'll also put it up close to the screen so y'all can see it. Is my light washing it out? It probably is. Pros of this dress are the length. I do enjoy the length a lot. I do like the length. It is like below my knees. I am 5'6 and I am mostly legs. Short torso. All I'm just all legs. Legs for days. So when a dress is below my knees, that is like, it's amazing. I will love my dress to be knee length or below because I don't wear underskirts and I'm not trying to flash people. So I appreciate this dress for being right, right up under the knee. I'll have to do another try on with my petticoat, but um, yeah, the length is a plus on this dress. Another plus is the sizing. It comes in a small, medium, large. I got the small and it is fully shirred in the back. I didn't tell y'all that. Another plus, 
fully shirred in the back. So very stretchy, gives you lots of room. So if you were to go up and get like the large size, I would imagine this would be pretty forgiving for my plus size or big busted friends. And with that being said, I did buy a small, I think the small like bust went up to, it was, I, I want to say it was like a hundred and something centimeters, but don't quote me. I'll put it up on the screen, but it was pretty big. At first I ordered a medium and I was like, I think that's going to be too big. And let me tell you, you got plenty of room in this dress. And when I say fully shirred, like it's fully shirred. Let me, let me back it up a little bit. This is a, this is a small, this is a small. This is unsured, un unstretched. Baby, look, look, look at how much I could stretch this out in a small. So can you imagine what like a large would do for my, my busty plus size friends? Could do a lot for you. Um, what's another pro of this dress? A plus is the print. Now I do like this print because it's very subtle and it's not so stand out in your face. And that could be because of the colorway that I picked. This comes in like a navy, a red, and a pink in addition to this color. But I thought this was the most like subdued version and less like, hey, I'm a sweet Lolita. You know, you know what I mean? And I do like this print. The print, there are some swans on here as well as some crowns. There's this little cat. Her name is Thel Thelma's not a very regal name. What's a regal name? Anne, it's a regal name, I feel like. And Miss Anne here is just, she's just, dance for me some more. I would like my crumpets, please. Although, I don't know if this is an Anne. This could be, this could be an Arthur. This could be an Arthur. I don't know what gender this cat is. It could also just be, just be A. I don't know. Um, but the, the print's really subtle, and then there's also a clock on this print. Where's the clock? Right here. So, also don't talk about my nails, because I'm not going to the nail salon, and I don't feel like doing them. You don't come here for the nails, you come here for me to talk about dresses. I also liked the fact that the print is also on the waist highs, on both sides of the waist highs, so that was nice. Um, that's a pro. Another pro are the fact that it comes with this nice detail of these bows, which are detachable. They're just little clips. So you can clip these wherever you want, or you could put them in your hair if you want to. And um, I liked this detachable chain right here. I love detachable chain bits. I think they're just really nice. And then I also like this kind of detail here at the bust that just kind of like, it reminds me of Dolly Cat, that like lace that's on the front of Dolly Cat. Um, and then it's also got stars on the lace, which is cute. Well, these nails. Oh, um, and I thought that was nice to contrast between this little trim, the heart trim and the star lace. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then the heart lace of uh, the heart trim is also at the bust line here, which is also very nice. So those are nice details. Um, oh, another pro of this dress. It has three buttonholes. So if you want to raise the dress up on your bust or lower it, you have plenty of option. It's got one, two, three. Did we talk about full back sharing? Full back sharing, that's, that's, if you got full back sharing, I'm in the door. I'm trying to hear what you have to sell me. The waist ties, like I mentioned before, the print is on both sides of the waist ties. So even if you can't make a beautiful butt bow, <clears throat> talking about myself um you don't have to worry about parts of the waist tie showing because it's on both sides um one side this is clearly the back of it though so this is the front this is the front of the waist tie you can tell because the print is the print of the dress is more prominent and then on the back side of the waist tie the back side of the waist tie is just this kind of simple um Kind of dot look at Anne, or it's arthur we're an inclusive channel Anne or arthur i don't know which one and then i also liked another pro is the bottom of the waist tie has the lace and then the heart trim here another pro of this dress is at the bottom of the dress they could have just left the bottom just like you know a simple trim but they added but they added this layer at the bottom that has this lace and this chiffon, which is also very nice. So that just adds a little bit of depth and dimension to the dress, which again, they didn't have to do, but for a super cheap dress, that was a nice touch to the dress. What other pros are there? I 
I'm not sure what this fabric is. Again, I'm not a fabrics expert. If one had to guess, it's polyester, but it feels very um, low maintenance and it is very soft and lightweight. So I do like that. It is lined on the inside. So that's a pro. Those are all my pros for this dress, which are a lot for a cheapy towel dress. I think that's pretty good for, for the pros, don't you think? Let's discuss, let's discuss cons. You better be paying attention to my class. Um, this just feels very cheap and that's to be expected um, with a, a lot of Taobao shops, but the material just feels very cheap and that's like a pro and a con just really depends like this could be a dress. This could be a dress that you like wear on your days where you might be like out and about and kind of sweaty. So it's something that you can toss in the washing machine really easy. Although you can toss almost every dress in the washing machine. So this, I, there's this detachable bow here. There's this detachable bow here, but I don't understand. They could have left this bow off to be honest. It's so frumpy and cheap and it's this, it's, this, it's a cheaper kind of chiffon kind of fabric. It just feels very cheap and you'll have to do some work to kind of pin it up so it stands out of tension and it's not like droopy and, and just falling down like that. Um, and then at the bottom of it, it has these little pearls, which is a nice little detail, but I just, it's very, it just feels very like last minute and not, not necessary. So the bottom of the dress has this like, ruffle kind of trim you see that but I don't like this on dresses because you have to you have to iron or steam this like that's like another extra maintenance piece that goes into this dress is because this looks really bad if it's like crumpled up together like this you know and I just don't like this kind of, and I probably should have paid attention to the pictures. I mean, I wasn't like zooming in and looking at it, but I, I, this, this is just adds another layer of maintenance to such a cheap dress that I don't feel like is worth adding that layer of maintenance. Um, and there's a lot of loose threads all over the place. Um, like here and here, if my camera will show it here and here i have scissors i can cut that off but it's just annoying it's just very annoying um and this could be because i like did that mac that like shearing stretch test but there's some like the here in the back with the shearing some more threads coming out I feel like this dress wrinkles easily and i did not actually steam it before i did this which i probably should have because i might be like, actually it doesn't really wrinkle that easy. Like it's probably just wrinkled because it was in a bag and it took a month via carrier pigeon on a ship that ran out of coal. What do ships run on? Hydropower? I don't know, but it took forever to get here. So it could be because it was in a box and it was very like rolled up and folded and that's where all the wrinkles were from and I didn't steam it. But this feels like a dress that's gonna wrinkle very easily. So if you're gonna travel with it, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a good steamer to steam everything out. But the fabric feels lightweight enough, so if you were to steam it out, the steams would come out easily. I'll do a steam test and let you know. It feels very copycat-esque, and one could probably argue that it is a replica, or it's a dupe, or it's a knockoff, or it's a whatever, but it does give me... I feel like I've seen this before vibe, which a lot of Taobao shops do that. Yeah, it gives me the like kind of deja vu, like have we been here before? Have I seen you before kind of look? So um, that is a con. Um, but I mean, there's only so many original prints people can come up with, right? <laughs> I feel like this was a very positive review for this dress, but given the price, I think it was worth the price. We'll see over time as it wears and how it does in the washer and that kind of thing, but um, overall, I thought, I think this dress is cute. It is a nice colorway. I did appreciate the details. Um, just a few cons that are, um, manageable. 
if you wanted to buy this dress, you can buy it straight from Taobao or Spree Now or any of the other Taobao shopping sites that um, allow you to purchase dresses. And this one, it's weird. It's, they do, they have a, they're like reservations. Um, so like, you do have to wait a little bit. I don't know why it's a reservation. I guess they're like obviously like making the dresses in batches. So um, it is like a reservation kind of only dress. $34.17. That was the price of this dress that I paid, which is a pretty good deal for a dress that offered what it offered. So um, if you were on the market for this dress, then it's pretty affordable, pretty cheap. You're just gonna have to wait a minute because like I said, this dress was sent via carrier pigeon on a ship it took forever. So major takeaways about this dress if you're thinking about getting it. One, it is plus size and big plus size friendly. Two, it is cheap. It is under $35 for this dress. Three, it is a nice subtle sweet print that has a nice soft fabric and is not going to show off your derriere because it is an appropriate length. Cons, it's cheap material, so you get what you pay for. The bow on the front is very sad. It is the saddest of bows, and they could have left it off, and it's cheap, so don't have high hopes for what you can do with it. And another con, tons of loose threads on this dress. I, If you have scissors and you can deal with loose threads, that's fine, but I... I get, it's one of my pet peeves with Lolita, like don't keep giving me loose threads. But if I'm paying $300 for a dress AP and you gave me some loose threads or a button popped off, I am going to be upset, just like Drake. Let's do some try on photos because you probably want to see what it looks like tried on. I actually want to see what this looks like tried on. I'm on brand today, y'all, because I'm actually drinking kombucha. I feel like I, I wish I wish Brew Doctor or Health Aid would sponsor me, but they don't. This is some Health Aid kombucha, and this is the Tropical Punch flavor. Um, it's actually pretty good. It took me a long time to actually get used to the taste of kombucha because it is pretty, it's an acquired taste. But for real, actually, this brand, Health Aid, makes the most the least nastiest tasting kombucha if that makes sense um this flavor is actually pretty good it's i mean it doesn't taste like you're in fiji but um it's a nice attempt and it doesn't taste like who did it and why anyway thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up or leave a comment like subscribe share all of those things. I definitely appreciate all of the support that you guys give me. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, don't be afraid to hit me up because I always take suggestions and I want to give y'all what y'all want to see. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.